been a while since I did an old-fashioned vlog. I kind of missed it. kind of missed recording just random stuff that I'm doing every single day. Um, but today, uh, I just wanted to try doing an entire vlog on the GoPro Hero 9. So I tried to do this last week, but things didn't really work out, and I'll describe those reasons later. But I'm also going to use this video to give some of my feedback on using the GoPro Hero 9 up to now. So. In the past, I, I used it um, right out of the box on my hiking trip, which you saw. And then after that, I did a little bit of a camping trip, which I didn't um, post up, but uh, I got to use it a little bit then with some custom settings. And then after that, you saw all the footage from Maine. So that was a lot of that was captured on the GoPro Hero 9. So throughout this video, I'll also give some of my feedback uh, on what it's like using this. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to just show you if it is possible to just vlog on this uh, to some level of quality. Uh, so I'm excited to use it. So I'm just heading to the studio right now uh, to do some work. And then later in the day, I have some errands that I need to run. And then I also want to pop into the grocery store to pick up some stuff for this week. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to be a normal everyday vlog. <music> Since I am vlogging on this, I am using the onboard audio uh, from the GoPro, so all of the sound is coming straight from the GoPro, and I'm not using the media mod. Instead, I put these little fuzzy bits on top of the speakers, but that's just to redu reduce some of the wind noise, but I've heard that the audio is significantly better um, on this GoPro, uh, so we're just going to be using the audio and we'll see. Uh, if it's good enough or if I should explore buying that media mod for better audio. So it has been pretty cold here in New York, so I am putting away the hiking stuff. So I brought the tent here to stow away at the studio. So like I mentioned, I brought all of my hiking stuff over to the studio and actually now that it's all here, I am recreating uh, the pack that I had for my Devil's Path hike. So I'm planning on doing a video on that, um, what I packed on that trip. So keep an eye out for that. So I was just reviewing the footage that I took earlier this morning on the GoPro and it seems like the issue that I had last week that prevented me from doing the vlog on the GoPro is still there. So it's still doing the static clicking noise and uh, you may have heard it in the earlier segment. Uh, I just reached out to the GoPro customer service and they just guided me through doing a manual update uh, on the GoPro. So. I'm going to try that out. Uh, I'm going to still try and power through with this vlog today and you guys will just have to deal with those issues if they're still there in the audio. But now the update is on the camera. We'll see if it continues on for the rest of this vlog. But yeah, it's a little annoying, a little frustrating. They said if it's still there, uh, they might send me a replacement. But uh, for the sake of continuing on with the authenticity of this vlog, we're just going to go right through it because that is apparently an issue with these GoPros, so uh, not going to hide it. So we are ducking out for a quick minute to grab some lunch and run a quick errand, so let's go do that. quite a distance to run this errand and also grab some food, uh, but I thought I'd take this drive to give some of my feedback on the GoPro Hero 9 so far. So like I said, I took it with me on my long hike, also took it camping, also took it uh, went up to when I went to Maine, and for those trips I pretty much used it straight out of the box. I didn't really do anything too custom with the settings. Uh, just opened it up, pressed the power button, started recording. And I must say, it is a lot better than my GoPro Hero 7. Um, stabilization is really great. Uh, horizon leveling is a really cool feature. 
Uh, I will say that when I was using it on my bike where I have it turned on upside down, it doesn't really work if you're using the GoPro upside down, so beware of that. I had a couple of clips that were like at 45 degree angles because of the horizon leveling, not understanding that I was using the camera in the upside down orientation. Uh, but aside from that, there were a couple clips where I was really impressed with it um, while I was on the hike. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm actually using some custom settings because uh, like the older GoPros, it is a little bit harsh on the contrast, so you lose a lot of the highlights if you're in like tree-covered situations. Um, so I am just playing around with the custom settings now. I got a couple polarizing filters, which I am going to uh, try out for a bit, um, but it looks like it doesn't really need it. Uh, in low light conditions, it's still not that great. Very grainy, especially when you're in the shade. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna continue playing around with it. Now I'm just jumping into using the custom settings, seeing if uh, you actually take a look at uh, purposefully and intentionally using this uh, to capture footage, how it performs. But so far, I'm pretty satisfied with the upgrade um, going from the GoPro Hero 7 to this device. So uh, yeah, that's my preliminary uh, feedback. The audio issue, if this is a thing, um, it's kind of a pain in the ass, so that is the one thing that will be preventing me from using this exclusively for vlogging because the audio is garbage if this static and clicking is in every clip. But if I'm able to solve this with GoPro, um, it could be a decent vlogging camera if it's your only camera, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, just the audio. Let's see if that, that'll figure itself out. I am here in Bensonhurst. I'm picking up a panini here at Panino Rustico, which you may have seen in an older vlog. It's a place that Jess put me on, um, and they make some great paninis. Uh, but I'm not here just for the panini. I'm here to run another errand. I just figured since I'm in the area, I'll just pick up a panini. All right, so the other errand is done. Yep, that's right. Picked up yet another bike, but I'm not gonna show you that. Uh, for another couple weeks because I need to wait for a couple more parts for that guy. Uh, but yeah, another bike. Uh, Alright, we're gonna head back to the studio and get the rest of the workday done. It's like one of the best views of downtown Manhattan is driving along the BQE. This little stretch, you get this amazing view of lower Manhattan. We are back at the studio. It's a little bit hard to find parking. It's a little bit windy, so you can see how the sound sounds when there's a little bit of wind. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna eat this panini and then head back up and do some work. So here we have the panini. So this is the panini just got last time, which is the salmon with avocado and some red onions and truffle oil. Oh, so excited to bite into this. Alrighty, just wrapped up at the studio. I'm gonna stop by the grocery store to pick up some food on the way back. The uh, thing I like about using this GoPro is that it's not as big as my other camera and I'm not too afraid to just vlog on the sidewalk like this with this little camera. So one thing I do like about it, but let's head over to the grocery store and pick up some meats. All right, we're back. I was gonna record at the grocery store, but then I forgot that I was only doing this on the GoPro I was gonna do on my phone, but didn't get any footage at the grocery store, but this is what I picked up. Got some arugula, got some chicken wings. Got, this is my new favorite ice cream. So I got some Oatly strawberry and some Oatly vanilla. This stuff is good if you haven't tried it yet. I think it's my new favorite ice cream, like I said. And then picked up a lot more chicken. These are some big, fat, boneless chicken breasts. And then some ground 
brie beef just to keep in the freezer. And my favorite, Bubba Burgers. All right, so just stocked up at the grocery. I have a bunch of meats that I could just leave in the freezer and I'll be ready to go if I have to stay in for a few days. All right, so I am going to wrap up this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is shot entirely on the GoPro Hero 9. So if you're thinking about buying this camera and this video helps you make that decision, uh, please consider liking the video. And if you enjoyed just taking a look at my everyday life, I kind of miss doing it. That's how my earlier vlogs were. We're just recording whatever was going on. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, but yeah, as far as whether or not I would use this as a dedicated vlogging camera in the future, probably not. Uh, if you know, I use the Sony a7 III and the quality on that is way better than I think this camera would ever be able to achieve. But as far as getting the action shots and um, getting video while I'm doing other activities, whether it's cycling or skiing or other stuff like the boating trip or hiking, uh, the GoPro is definitely really good for that. And I have used it for some dialogue pieces in those types of videos. So I'll continue to use it for that, but trying to use it by itself as a vlogging camera is something that I probably would not do. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this sound static issue looked at. Um, maybe it's just a funky GoPro because uh, after I did the manual update, it is still having some of those issues. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. I could keep you updated in a future vlog. Uh, all more reason to subscribe to follow up on that situation. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, just, just make sure to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and I will definitely catch you in my next video. Peace. Thank you.